spikes falling over. Well, that's a great start. <laughs> Hello! Well, there's a fascinating insight into my home life. Right, coming to you from the home studio. Hang on, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Andrew Culture. I pump out music under the name of Marin Skell. I also play bass in a band called These Are End Times and a couple of other bands, and I write reviews for makingmusic.com, which you can find at making-music.com. Now, I'm going to show you how I compose a lot of my, my music today, and it's using a bit of software called Klimper, which is a composition tool, which you can see already. You see it? Oh, hang on. I need to make sure the iPad doesn't go off. Um, this is going to date horribly, but I'm filming this from home and with associated 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 home noises because because of the COVID thing. Um, that was just my wife asking me where I could put the potatoes after dinner. Anyway, so I like to use Klimper because it's super super easy and it works on iOS. I also sometimes use Captain Plugins tools, although they're a lot deeper, a lot more fully featured. But I, if I'm starting something, I like a nice, simple starting point. And you might see soon why I like Klimper so much. So I'm just going to start a new project. Just going to check my projects. Brand new song. And I'm going to call it Spitfire. Right. And I'm going to choose a key. D minor because I like a slightly sad music so there we go right so there's the scale set I'm going to choose my first sound here and I'm going to go for grand piano because why not okay so the thing I really like about Klimper is that it fills a gap in my musical knowledge uh, I'm a bassist and some basses are great but I in bands I generally get by by just following the guitarist and the drummer um, sorry, that was me seeing what my family is doing. It's my daughter hammering through some ice cream. Right, so the reason I like Klimper is if I choose a starting point like A minor, then all the keys that will, all the chords that will go with it, naturally, the little circles get bigger. Can you see, look, if I choose a different one like F, so like G minor would go really badly with F. So let's just, just prove that. kind of like that <laughs> but the, the point is it shouldn't work so let's go for F A minor see it just just it's just a lovely way of kind of knowing what works so we're going to start off with the, the main chords after I've had a sip of this look how murky that is it is beer it's actually very nice a shout out to Hopsters of Ipswich for suppliers of great beer Right, so I'm going to start with D minor. I mean, it's in D minor, so let's start with a D minor. And I've called this project Spitfire because I also write for... Oh, I mentioned making music, didn't I? And I'm reviewing the Spitfire BBC Symphony package at the moment, which is... Oh, I just want an excuse to play with it. So kind of introducing it to Klimper at the same time seemed like a really good, good excuse for that. So let's start with D minor. Yeah, it doesn't really. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's let's put it up there. So to do that, I just grab hold of it and I move it up to the timeline. So it's now there. Can you see it at the top? So after D minor, where are we going to go? No, nope, too much. I've started this with no preconceptions. I've got nothing in my head at all, which is the way I live most of the time. To be fair. anything as dramatic as that but I think I'm gonna to have to go for D minor that was just a miss hit <laughs> okay let's grab that F so this is what we have so far I'm gonna press the play button okay so after that F Ooh, and I like that, that's slightly odd. It reminds me of Pyramid Song by Radiohead a little bit. So now we have. Hang on. Okay, 
okay, so the natural cycle for that in my head would just be to step down again, but let's see where we can go with it. So A minor seventh. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing. That's a spicy one, but let's see if it, see if it works. No, I'm not sure about that, so I'm just going to hold my finger on it and remove it. So we had A minus 7. Uh, yeah, let's keep going up. Let's keep going up. A minus 7. Oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. A minus 7. So C add 9. That's quite a happy little end to that phrase. Let's hear it from the beginning again. I think at the end of that should have a... down again. We'll use that as part of the step. Let's add that, but what I'm going to do is something really neat that Klimper allows you to do, and I'm going to shorten that. Where should that go? So I realised that kind of opening myself up to seeing how, how I make stuff is going to expose the fact that I just make it up as I go along a lot of the time. I think a lot of musicians do. Right, from the top. Okay, cool. So that F. Mm. Kind of want to go down again. A G minor. I'm going to make that shorter as well. A little bit longer than that F. Okay, from the top. I think we might need another one at the end there. Oh, that's really awkward. Ooh. See the, the the size of the the circles changing each time. Okay, so G minor. Oh, that's quite a nice ending. So B flat. Okay, let's try this from the top then. You see, we've got. Oh well, no. What have I done? I actually don't know how to undo that, and I don't know where I was. <laughs> oh, this could be interesting. that can work if I make this G minor a little shorter. Just looking away from the screen because I get a bit obsessed with kind of how things look in this music. Oh, that's nicely awkward. Ooh, I quite like that. Okay, so I've got my basic structure there now. So that's the piano. It's not. I mean, I'm just picking instruments and we'll go somewhere else. I'm going to do the bass next. What we can do for bass. Now, I've been using <laughs> Klimper for a while. In fact, it probably accounts for about two thirds of my output. Last year, depending on when you're watching this, hang on. 2019, about six albums. So just to give you an idea of how much this kind of productivity composition software really helps. Okay, so let's choose a bass sound. Apparently it's not going to actually let me hear it. Okay, so we've got the basic timeline there, so now I'm going to add some bass. Now what you can see here is the stronger colours. Oh look, I'm zooming. The stronger colours, or the underlying bits, show what, what will work. Now weirdly for bass, it always starts in quite a high a high octave. So you look D5, D6. No, that's not bass to me. And I'm a bassist. So let's start D2. Ooh. Yeah, why not, eh? 
Um, I'm going to keep this keep this kind of quite simple now. So dum. I'm a sucker for an ascending bass line. Dun dun. Literally plucking this out in here. Two of them. Let's make that little short one for no particular reason other than the fact to show that it's done. It, you know, it can be done. Uh, just up and down. I mean, it's, it's a classic. Let's make this another short one. I've got no idea what this is going to sound like. And then we're going to go. Where are we at? Oh, it's getting quite high. You see, we've still got the chords at the top there, so we still know what we're doing. Oh, let's make it cheeky. Oh, that's possibly a bit high. I'm just going to hold my finger on that to delete it. Okay, let's see how this plays out. do there's this one here I'm gonna delete and I'm gonna extend it so it'll just be a held note okay oh a little pause there it's really nice do you notice that when I press playback there um, because I wasn't at the start of the timeline it took a while for everything to catch up that massively reminds me of recording on a dance like VHS <laughs> Yeah, pre-digital still makes me kind of wince a little bit. Okay. So I'm quite pleased with this. I'm not going to play it again. Let's move on to trying to sort out. Well, it says here lead. It's not really going to be lead. What sound do I want? Oh, look, see the Moog Model D's here. Now, I installed that a couple of days ago when Moog said it was free. And it's quite cool that it's showing up there. Oh, what am I going to do? The thing is, the whole point is these instruments aren't going to be kept. It's just to sort of give me a, a starting point. We have a synth lead. So same thing again when we go to this. See, we've got it's, it shows you what's possible, where where you should go. Now I'm going to start higher here. Um, I've got nothing in my head, so let's just let's just. If the bass is ascending, it might be quite nice to have the melody descending. So let's start higher. And remember, we don't have to do every note. So do. It. Possibly too low. What? I said I wasn't going to sing. That's not really singing, is it? All right. Dun, 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 dun. I tell you what, just to give us a starting point, I'm just going to do my favourite little update. Oh, that one's not quite right. Let's make that a longer one. So you see, I haven't filled all the gaps. So let's see what this sounds like. It's probably hideous. Let's find out. Now that little do 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 do. I'm just going to remove that because that is almost become like a signature thing for me. Ooh, that's high. Do do do. Okay, let's try this again from the top. This is why this is why I like making music. That's very pleasing. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm not going to worry about drums now. I don't even, I don't tend to use a lot of drums, so just do that mm, 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 if I need anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add another track because I've got that melody. Let's find a little counter melody. Come on, where are you? I've got to say. As much as I love Klimper, it ain't perfect. But for the price, it's remarkable. I nearly swore then. I remember my daughter's in the room behind me. 
mum, if you're watching this, I don't swear ever. Okay, synth pluck. Let's just keep this a real staccato kind of sort of thing. Okay, so synth pluck. What should we do with this? We've got an ascending, we've got an up and down. How about we just do this one? It's a real basic trick that I pretty much use whenever I can. <laughs> one thing goes up, another thing goes down. Okay, so I'm going to start it a bit lower though, just so we've not got everything in the top and everything in the bottom. Somebody once told me kind of putting songs together is like building a wall. You get your low frequencies and your high frequencies. Just, you know, build a wall. Who was that? It doesn't matter. Right, so. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? Uh, that's horribly loud. That sounds like something from Labyrinth. You remind me of the babe. What babe? I'm not going to go any further than that, otherwise I'll have to pay PRS. And then down again from here. To... There you go, there's a bit of Klimper kind of spiciness for you. I don't know why it does that. Uh, what should we do at the end? It's not helping, is it? <laughs> anyway, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. You, you, you're through the Klimper bit a bit nearly. Then we'll pause and we'll go to Ableton. You can see how I'm going to use uh, Spitfire BBC Symphony Orchestra. Uh, what am I going to do? Let's just do another hold. I quite like the holds. So let's make that note longer. And let's just have it rock it up. Oh, right. This mixing's going to be horrible. But let's see what we've got. Did, did it sound that bad? It's dead. I killed it. Mm. I should say the uh, iPad I'm using has had a tough life. It is very old. But, you know. Okay, let's go with that note. Do, do, do. Okay, let's try this again from the beginning. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, poor Mr. iPad, you've had a tough life. The screen's like proper knackered. Can you see, look, hello. Getting a bit meta there, showing you the screen. Okay, well, this is now not making any Okay. As I say, kind of don't. Oh, hello. Okay, don't, don't take that as a sign of exactly what Klimper's like, because this iPad is like. It's like a Ford Fiesta from 1982 that someone's put cod liver oil in instead of petrol. Anyway, so I'm going to move on to the next step, and the next step is to export it. Now, I really like the ability to do this. So when we export... <laughs> oh dear, I don't know why you do that. Hey, this song's finished. Let's run with it. So I'm going to go for MIDI file, and I'm going to share it by Gmail. Um, I've just realised my email addresses are going to be shown here, but that's fine, that's fine. So, Andrew uh, b -b 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 at making... Oh, I'll have to blow this out, won't I? Um, and subject line, Spitfire. Okay. So that is now winging its way to my inbox, and... That's the Klimper part over. Let's move over to Ableton. So, OK. Here we go. Just got to press pause. And here we are in Ableton. Oh, Ableton, how I love you. Anyway, I'm just going to check sounds working because... Hey, we have sound. Right then, so the only bit I haven't shown you is me receiving the email because I'm sure you've seen that before. So here we have, you see Spitfire Mid? This is just in my downloads box. That's come directly from the iPad through Gmail to my main computer. I'm now on a... Do you really want the details? Look, really? Yeah, I'll show you. Oh no, that's not the right thing. Just to show you, I really like this. It's not really a reverse snobbery, but look, this is an old, old machine. Look at that, pre-19th pre, pre century, pre-2010. There's really not a lot of grunt here, but you don't. Okay, there's a reasonable amount of grunt, but you don't. You don't need a lot of power. So, here are the MIDI files, and all we've got to do is drag them here. 
Right, so what you, actually, I'll just explain what you're seeing here. This is the Marin scale template. This is my template uh, project in Ableton. And in here, we have MIDI sends to all my external hardware, which is just there on the shelf behind me. So there's the Micro Freak. My God, that thing's good. Microcorg, which I think everyone should be issued one of when you're about 10 years old. And apart from that, I've got an MB33. This isn't like a studio brag or studio rundown. I have a very sort of slim hardware setup. Um, and I can see how like no hardware at all would be a fine thing, but because I'm a bassist, it's, it's prodding things. I need that connection. Um, and a me blip, because it's like a hundred dollars and it sounds absolutely phenomenal. So let me close that quickly. And you hear the seagulls. <laughs> it's night time. You should be in bed. Right. And I mentioned Captain earlier. So we've got... I hope you can hear that. You're not just thinking, why is he just suddenly looking wistful? Thinking of ice creams. Uh, right. So we've got Captain Chords. Again, I'm not using it for this one, but I, I do recommend you kind of have a look up. At, um, just go to making-music.com and just look at the uh, Captain plugins review because it's, it's such a great tool but we're not going that way today now all we got over on the sends and returns are grain delay um, that reverb I don't know why that one's there I can't remember and this is one of my little secret weapons it's little plate oh thank you Sue <laughs> it's little plate cranked up almost Little plate by uh, Sound Toys cranked almost to infinity because it's God, you can just make things swell so nicely there. So now ignore all that. Let's have a look at the MIDI that's come across. So this is the chords part, and obviously there's nothing on any of these yet. Here's the chords. Do you know what? I'm going to label these so I don't get lost. And this one. Da, 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 da. I can't remember if that's the base of the melody. To be honest, this looks more like a bass to me. What have we got in here? Let's look at the register C2 to C3, C1 starting down to C, so that looks like bass, C3, so that's higher. I'm gonna, this is terrible, it's literally seconds ago that I was doing this. So, bass, I'm gonna call this one melody two, I'm sorry, melody <laughs> one, melody one, we'll call this one melody two. I used to have a computer called melody back when Winamp was a thing and MP3s took up so much storage I used to have a specific a specific computer on my network. God, really? That's fascinating. And sleep. Right, so let's do something with this, eh? So chords, 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 chords. Yep, that all kind of looks like it makes sense. Ah, oh, thank you, Phil. It is fabulous. Right. Yes, we're all well, so I'll reply to those later. I should really switch those things off when I'm making these videos. Right, so let's go for Spitfire, Spit. Fire, we love you, Spitfire. There you go, there's a little preview of what I might come out with um, <laughs> during the Spitfire review for making music.com. Making dash music.com. Right, come on. Um, incidentally, the microphone I'm talking on is a beautiful Aston mic. Right, here we go. So, lovely, lovely Spitfire. And as this is the main kind of backing for it, I'm going to treat it kind of as a pad. So I'm going to go for, I'm hoping a cello. Selly? Bases, bases. Let's see what this sounds like. And I can't hear it. I just need to go to recording monitor okay why can't I hear that okay I'm gonna get through this as fast as possible full HD webcam da, 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 da. let me check this over here I did get sound earlier didn't I okay we do have sound so I don't know why we couldn't hear that Okay, so because this is the chords, let's go for long. So this is just going to give us a slightly harsh. I might have to kind of reduce that. Oh, it's violins. That's why. 
go for cello instead. This interface is great. This doesn't need contact, by the way. It's just... <laughs> I, I do like a cello. So now we've got that. I'm just going to close that for a minute and close that. Let's see what that sounds like so far. Why is that? Where's that beat come from? Tell you what, there must have been something I left lurking in Captain. Tell you what, I'm not going to use any hardware for this. So let's be harsh and delete that. Sorry, I was just pausing there because I've realised this is actually my template project and I don't want to go over the top of it. So I'm going to very quickly rename this project to Spitfire. <laughs> right, hopefully now when I press play we won't get something else bizarre. Um, something weird that happens with Klimper sometimes. You see this gap at the end? I just remembered that. I do see that sometimes. I've got the same gap. Mm, what am I going to do about that? Seagulls again. I'll tell you what, for now I'm just going to trim these all back to there. So 6 R63. I realize that when I talk in a low register like that, this might be slightly ASMR, for which I apologize. Let's try that again. <laughs> So despite the fact that's chords, you see there's, it's kind of leaping around a bit too much for that to actually be cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to duplicate this and start pulling it around. The duplicate's just literally just a backup. So chords, backup. I mean, I've still got the MIDI sat in the downloads, but why take a chance, eh? So I'll switch that off. Is it that doesn't work there? Let's try knocking out these two. You see, there's just there's just too much going on. So let's knock out those. That's that's the danger with kind of working with chords. I don't want my cellos to kind of deviate too much. Mm -hmm. Let's have that go a little bit higher. Yeah, they're multiples anyway. <laughs> That's far too thick. I don't want it to drop far though. These, these are just kind of backing, so I'm just going to remove other parts of the, the chords here. I might keep those chords and use them for a piano or something. I don't think there is a piano in um, it's a bit fire BBC audio um, symphony. I apologise if I'm wrong with that. Right, so let's see what we've got now. Slightly unnatural sounding there, and we might be able to fix that in the mix, but what can I do with that? stop that see it sounds slightly unnatural now this is oh it's because it was on legato let's try again oh that's better it's just going to try this <laughs> flat oh god that's soft isn't it I'm just going to try dialing back the mod. Okay, that <laughs> just switches it off, fair enough. Mm. It sounds so much more natural, don't you think? I 
There's something about the end of that that I'm not comfortable with. It might be overcomplicated. I don't know, I quite like that. Okay, let's stop that, let's stop that. Right, you just watch a video of a man disappearing up his own backside. I'm going to leave those chords for now, so the bass. I love the bass, bass, bass. Okay, so let's go back to Spitfire. Let's launch another instance of that. Hey, no presets. Ah, no, do you see how fast that loaded? That's quite impressive. Ah, uh, strings, because I like the strings. Basses. What do you reckon? Do you reckon we should have a bass or basses? Let's go for basses. And let's make that long again, because it's... It should be like a sweeping thing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that is... It's pretty metal, actually. I think that might be a bit low. I'm just going to duplicate that. Sorry, let me just stop this track. So I'm going to duplicate that. Because I think I want to lift that by an octave. It's, it's kind of... It might be too low. I might be kind of preempting things a bit, but let's just make that bass back up and switch it off. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to lift it by an octave in a quite a clumsy way, to be honest. D naught. So let's make that E1. Let's hear it again. There's some notes not firing there. See? That one doesn't fire because it's too high. So that's D3. So let's make that a D2. Because obviously within within the software, and let me just go back, let me go, we go back. Well, if we go look at Spitfire again, it doesn't work on all octaves. You see, that's the only part of the keyboard you can really use. Because it's basses, you can't play twiddly stuff on a bass. So let's see what else needs fixing here. Oh. <laughs> okay, so hardly any of that. that A2 so let's make that A1 that's interesting isn't it, it keeps bringing it into the same direction. I'm just going to extend that because it just sounds like a bit of a jolt there's another one what's it got there A2 oh man it's going to be A1 again isn't it now, this is how kind of bass shouldn't be too madly complicated. I'm not just saying that because I'm arranging it on the bases. <laughs> oh, come on, what's that going to be? F G2, so let's make that a G1. Oh, that sounds so good though. What a beautiful sound. I've not done any EQ in your voice. So those last two are too high. What well, we've got there is G2 again, so let's make that G1. And that one clearly didn't register, and that's an A sharp 2. Let's make that an A sharp 1. extend that because it just slams the door a bit. Cool, 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 cool. So let's put that together the chord, see what we get. Okay, what we get is a little bit of sound card <laughs> overwhelmingness there. Okay, let's try that again. I don't know if you can hear that horrible hissing this or not. You hear that like fizzy, horrible, crappy sound card noise? It's not a crappy sound card, it's a focus, right? Well, it's not exactly fancy, but it's entry level and 
It works. I use them on stage <laughs> and they're reliable. Hmm, that bass, let's... I'm going to leave that for now, but I might use the original bass track for some brass or something. i tell you what I want to do with this, the original piano chords. I'm going to try a piano on there. A piano. I See, I automatically called them piano chords, and, and that isn't what they originally were. That's clearly what my brain's going for then. I think I might have to use a sample tank. I know I'm going outside of Spitfire, but... I do you know what? I keep saying there isn't a piano. Let's have a look. Is there a Joanna? Flawed. Okay, I'm just going to press clear here. It does this thing where it kind of will select loads of stuff, but you just press clear to start again. Right, flutes, woodwind, brass, percussion, strings, user. <laughs> okay, so no old Joanna. So I'm just going to grab one from somewhere else. IK, oh IK, how often you help me out. Um, you might wonder why I'm choosing Sample Tank 3 instead of 4. It's because we're in the middle of writing a review for 4 and I haven't installed all the samples. Okay. Oh, I, I love this, but is that not just the ugliest thing ever? Oh, grand. I kind of want that bright. Bright. Yeah, I don't want anything kind of dark. Let's load that up and I'm going to have to do an all stop before I just play that clip. We talk amongst yourselves. Oh, oh God, this is such a brilliant bit of software. Yeah, I should say, watch out for a full review of sample tongue, sample tongue, sample tongue, sample, 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 that thing. Right, for now, let's just hear what this sounds like. Nothing, because it switched off, switch on, Andrew. Hmm. This doesn't make a ton of noise, does it? What can I hear? What am I missing? It's switched on, it's turned up. It's triggering. Hmm. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to bail. And I'm going to do something else. I'm going to use... feels a bit kind of weird because I'm talking about how great Spitfire is. But I'm going to use... I can't remember what it's called. I know it by sight. Philharmonic 2, there we go. Which is kind of the IK. It's not really the equivalent. I mean, Spitfire, <laughs> IK are great. Spitfire are just a different thing. But I use this a lot as well. Piano. I mean, theoretically, this is the same one. I've just it's the same kind of sample thing. I've just gone gone to it a different way. <laughs> You listening might be. This might be another weird thing with this recording software I'm using. So I'm just clipping to check the mic. That's there. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on there. What's going on? I'm going to have to stop for a second. Anyway, back in a minute. Still trying to figure this out. Have we got any sound at all? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry this has sort of turned into a... It's not just that it's not in the right register, is it? Let's have a look. Let's go and madly shove this up and down and see what happens. Nope, doesn't look like we're going to get any trombones. So, I'll tell you what. Let's just... Ah, oh, I switched off, you pillock! <laughs> right, let's get them back where they should be. Ah, oh, rats. What have I done with it? I can't believe I went through all that and it was just because it wasn't... The track wasn't switched on. Okay. Whoa, that's 
sounds loud. Let's just see where it sits in the whole thing. Oh dear, that's such a rookie thing. Nasty, 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 nasty. What can I do with that? Just why is that? Oh, it's because I moved them, isn't it? Right. In that case, delete that. Go back to downloads. Grab it again. That's orangey. So let's grab all of them again. Because that's what I'll have to do. Mm -hmm. I think it's that. We'll just stop the whole thing and try again. That sounds better. Lovely bit of raspiness, right? So melody, melody, melody two. So I'm just, I'm just going to knock out these four that I've just imported again. That's such a beautifully raspy sound. I've not EQ'd any of it yet. Right, I've just realised this video is rolling on and on, so I'm just going to sort the melody out. What should we use for melody? Let's have a look where it is. Do you know what I bloomin' love a violin? Uh, let's see, how about viola? God, this is it's like being an orchestra god or something. Hey, let's try viola, let's try that. I, there's no way someone like me would have access to anything like this. Right, I mean an actual orchestra. So let's go for Spitfire again, my dear friend. Melody one. For melody one, I would like a a leading viola. It's like a sad violin. <laughs> What's that sound like? Nothing. It's switched off. See now it's not switched off. Mind you, it's not triggering anything either, so could be that it's in the wrong register, it's I would have thought that'd be all right. So why can't I? <laughs> this is the. If you've not made any music on a computer, yeah, this is the sad. Oh, there we go. Look. Yeah, this is the sad truth about making music on a computer. Why doesn't that work? Why doesn't that work? I left some gaps in there, didn't I? Let's bung it in with the rest. Oh, it's coming through real quiet, though. I'm just going to dump the volume up. Just gonna... Okay, I've just done that so that I can pump the volume up here. 400%. What else can we do to tinker with that, actually, while I'm here? Let's slam that in with the rest. Those bones are loud. Trombeebs. Let's call them a trombeeb. The next thing I'm going to do is drop an EQ on the viola. Just to make it stand out a bit more, just because it's a bit lost. Oh, it sounds so good. Okay, I 
I'm liking this now. So what we've got here, we've got Melody 2. This is the other one. Now this is going to have to be something a proper cut through because we've got, we've got quite a lot of thickness there. <laughs> Cool beans, cool beans, cool boots, nice boots. Don't know what that means. Right then, so my friends, my friend Mr. Spitfire. Nope, that's samples, plugins. Let's go for violins, shall we? Because we've got violas, the sad violins. Let's go for leader. Just sounded like I did. Okay. <laughs> we can have that thing where it doesn't do anything for a while again, are we? Ah, oh, it's because it's out of register loop. You see? You can see the keys being fired in the grey area. So. Let me just stop that, back it up, by which I mean just duplicate and switch it off. Although try and remember I've switched it off. Okay. So melody to back up. Okay, cool. So I'm trying not to breathe on the mic. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so that, let's just play that. Yeah, look, none of those are triggering. What have we got there? Is that a D3? So let me grab the whole lot and send that up to D4. Oh, it's kind of broken -y sounding, isn't it? Oh, what wasn't firing there? Oh, that one. an E2, so let me select that an E3. So there's the next one that's not working, which is D2, so let's make that a D3. Oh, did I slip then? Oh, I'm going to learn from my earlier mistake. Instead of doing that as a double, I'll do it like that. Oh, that one's not doing it either. F2, so make, make that an F3. <laughs> None of those are registering. F3. Oh, let's learn from the mistakes. What have we got here? A1, so A2, A3, sorry. Ah, screw it, let's make it a 4. <laughs> C2, let's make that nice and high. C5, yeah, why not? And that one's C, yeah, let's make that C5. Let's extend that because that sounded weird. I don't really want any gaps in this actually. So I'm just going to pull these out. I, I'm kind of chancing it here because there's a very good chance that this will be musically incorrect. <gasps> Do you hear that building? That's that's the Spitfire magic again. Don't know what that is. Facebook notification or something. Right, so I'm going to wrap it up any second. So here we go. I'm just going to play the whole lot together and see what happens. I'm going to have to EQ that violin, otherwise it's just getting completely lost. I could keep going for the same EQ, but you know, if you like something, you like something. Well, these group of two Neve ones anyway. Yeah, I don't know what I'm 
mighty one instead. There we go. So clearly you've been watching this, well I'd be amazed if you have been watching it for the whole time, it's gone on quite a while, this is a, almost a song start to finish. So this is just like superstition always, just to click to one save, there's, there's not really samples as such here, but just to be on the safe side. So we've kind of got this now. So what I'm going to do is quickly show you something else I like to do and that's to use, I actually switched to Adobe Audition fairly often because if I want to pull audio around it's, I just think it's kind of an easy way of doing it. Come on Audition, stop bouncing around, just open up. Now, quite a lot of the time I travel around with a sound recorder and I've got a reasonably <laughs> banger. See look the kind of things I record look banner, banger world fine, well, let's see what we can find in this. I want to add texture. Now invariably I record everything super quiet, I've just got like a little Tascam Port 5, really cheap little thing. So everything always comes through really quiet. I don't think I'm going to use this, I don't think the sound of knackered old cars is going to fit well with this track. Come on. Right. Oh, actually, I quite like that. I need a bit of EQ. I'm just going to get rid of a ton of that. I want the first bit of speech. There we go. First bit of speech. It's just for texture. That's actually me, and I don't... If I find myself talking on these things, I normally kind of... normally deliberately don't use it. So I'm just going to put that in the right folder, just climper, climper, climper. Nope, that's entirely the wrong thing. Hey, look at the fascinating world of me filing things. What's it called? Spitfire. I'm not going to bother renaming it. Man, it's nearly nine o'clock. How long have I been doing this? Right, so there's a quick bit of audio I've grabbed there. Oh, I'm wrong one. Right, live. Where's my audio? Ableton Projects. Martin Scal. Spitfire. There it is. So I'm just going to jung, bung that there. And things, I'm going to EQ this because I just, I know what this needs just from hearing it. So I'm going to put the EQ 8 on that one and I'm just going to rip out the bottom end. So let's just try that all together. <laughs> Yeah, that's just added a bit of texture. Right, I'm going to wrap this thing up now because what would happen next is me slaving for I don't know how long over arrangement. So I'm going to do the quickest, dirtiest arrangement you've ever heard. Let me just check this again. <laughs> it's really fast, isn't it? it? Sounds really odd. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be the fastest arrangement ever. Oh, 
I'm watching is those these little things here, look. It tells me when something's coming to an end. Okay, we'll have piano next, shall we? stuff and I'd probably manage to make that 10 minutes long <laughs> so anyway there we go there is starting with Klimper moving through to Ableton and then fairly quick and dirty well, incredibly quick and dirty arrangement I hope this has been entertaining and if you stuck with it for this long well done you <laughs> anyway I hope this is useful as well there you go so I'm looking down at the uh, stop recording shortcut bye bye <gasps>